guys. Uh, thank you guys for all your patience and waiting for me to do another video. Hey, Ruby. Everybody, this is Ruby. Yes, this might be crocodile. Yes, this might be crocodile. Uh, oh, you, you. You had a nice big belt there, if you guys didn't hear. Um, <laughs> come here. It's feeding day, and I, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what we do during feeding day. Because, uh, come on. It fell. Okay, easy. You can't go for the container. You can't have the container. Here. There. You dropped it again. As you can see, Ruby is very impatient today. Easy. It's an egg. You just swallowed it. You didn't even taste it. Okay. 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 Well, I dropped it this time. Here. There you go. Angry little bug. There we go. Hi. Yum yum. So I don't usually hand feed my Tegu. I'm sorry, that took a second I needed to really focus in on him. Um Ruby, I hand feed because I worked with him on being gentle and on those traits so that he kind of pays attention to where my fingers are uh, when he grabs at food. Obviously, he looked like he was going to be a little impatient today, so I just kind of like was propelling food into his mouth. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an intro video on Ruby and what I was doing in that last video. Come here for the heart. Come here. Be gentle. No. 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 Be gentle. It's my hand. There you go. Good boy. Easy. Hey! Easy. So he nipped me, which is still something that we're working on. As he is in a growth stage right now, that's why it's kind of important for me to pay attention to, to watch his body language as I do this. Uh, 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 I know you know where the container is. Here. You dropped it. You didn't take it in your mouth. It's on the floor. There you go. Good boy. Um, so... The first video that I posted up, basically what I was doing with him was teaching him a vocal command. Yes, I am very much aware that what he was doing was mating behavior with his chuffing. But I've also recognized and realized with him, easy. Aha, hey, hey, nips, enough. I swear he's never gotten me like this. <laughs> it's only because I'm not paying attention, damn it. And I can't show what a good boy he is on the fucking camera. Pardon my language. Jesus. Okay. Get back to the important part. I'm just gonna give him his container because he's like in a rush. Um in your container. No, not at the container. Just no, that is the container. As you can see, tegus are very, very food aggressive and food oriented, which is why uh, I aim to ease him out of it. I have two other tegus on the other side of the room right now that you can't really see, but I will show them uh, in a bit. Scarlet, Mama. Um, what I was doing in the first video with him with the chuffing and the nipping was mostly because uh, I had noticed that in the beginning stages, he would just do soft little love nips. It was just like this cute little thing uh, where you know he'd even be pretending to sleep while he'd do it. And he would just do this little itty bitty nip that somebody could barely realize or recognize. Um, and, and I realized that it was a form of communication for them. A uh, form of comfort, a form of communication, and I wanted it to stay that way, and I didn't want to take that away from them. 
so instead of teaching him that no, it's bad and that uh, he can't do it, instead I took the time with him and I took the pain, <laughs> obviously, um, and just taught him that basically I can't tolerate the same amount of uh, of a bite that a female lizard could. Uh, and that was my main goal with it, was to teach him that it's not the same thing and that, um, and that it, it hurts me, basically. Here you go, buddy. There. There's all your hearts. Uh, so, we went around with that. You know what? Here, you can have the last two quail eggs, too. We went around that way. We, we worked our way through it. Uh, and it, it, it worked really, really well. Even today, if he were to nip me or if he were to accidentally grab me, I would be able to say gentle and he would let me go. Though, uh, in this particular case, it really only happened during breeding season um, and, and no other time. The, oh, goodness. <laughs> Mama has liver on her face, sorry. Uh, one of the other big questions that I saw a lot of people kind of stuck on was why his name was Ruby. Um, his name is Ruby because he originally was supposed to be female and I got him. Uh, and the name kind of stuck. So instead of changing his name entirely, I just started calling him Ruby as a nickname type thing. Uh, and his name is Rubius Hagrid from the Harry Potter characters. Uh... He does, <laughs> he used to sleep with me um, and our bond was a lot closer before, but since he is my male breeder um, and while he's in the growing stages, I wanted him to get used to mama and become closer with mama. Yes, mama girl. And become closer with mama. So they've been spending a lot more time together and he's been acting a lot more like a tegu, uh, which also, you know, kind of shows you and demonstrates some of the behavior that he's exhibiting today. Um, though otherwise, when he's not being a macho and, you know, growing up from an adolescent, he's very, very sweet. <laughs> yes, he is still in shed, people. <laughs> I know he's in shed. Trust me. I know he was going through a bad shed before, and he's still not in the best of sheds. He took off the shed that was on his top area already. The rest of his shed is already coming off. Um, he is doing fine. It's not an issue with the shed. It's actually more of an issue with the fact that he's growing so quickly. He just goes through all these growth spurts, and it's just nonstop right now. Uh, this should be his last shed for a while, though. So that's always nice. Mama ate. She had her fill, and now she's going to bed. So she's not going to come out and see us, but Scarlett's going to come see us in a second. Um, there was another good question, another few good questions, really, that now I can't remember super well uh, about Ruby. What was it? Ruby, it was your name. It was your name. It was how you're a big, scaly puppy. Yes, you're a big, scaly puppy. Scratches. The scratches on my arms. Scratches on my arms? Not from these guys. At all. Ugh. And the scars on my arms? Not from these guys. At all. And no, they're not from self-harm either. My scratches and my scars on my arms are directly related to me doing work on my dad's farm with barbed wire, as well as the iguana, the large male iguana, and the two rescue iguanas that I had in at the time of the video. Like, most of the markings are gone now because I also have invested in a pair of Kevlar sleeves. But um, most of those scars were just from, from uh, working with the animals and just, you know, an iguana goes and they don't always have the best balance and if they fall, you pick him up, well, the first thing they do is stick their nails in you. <laughs> so it wasn't from any animal being vicious, being mean, being aggressive in any way, and it wasn't from me harming myself. Hi, mama. There's a good girl. But it was strictly from uh, the iguanas and from barbed wire. So, like, super simple. <laughs> no, 
no worries, no frets, guys. Uh, Mama is a big black and white female. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. There, she came in from a friend of mine, Browning Reptiles. Uh, last June, she used to be a, a breeder full time. So she's not the most cuddly. She's not like Ruby and she's not like Scarlet. Scarlet is my littlest girl. And she's out basking right now. I'm not gonna bother her. Anyway, the guys have now eaten. I believe I answered the biggest part of most of your questions. Um, if this video scared you at all, I'm sorry. <laughs> the nips, really, honestly, it's like, you can see it there. That's the nip. It was purely accidental. Uh, nothing more to it. There was no aggressive feature to it. There was no aggressive uh, way of doing it. Like he would have grabbed on, latched on, and shook if he was being aggressive about it or if he really thought it was food. Uh, and I think I'm going to end the video off here. Uh, lots of ums and ats, and I apologize for that. I uh, suck with technology, so. I don't know how to do video editing. I also don't have a laptop, so I don't do video editing. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Ruby a little bit more and Mama. Oh, Scarlett is going to come out and say hi. Come on, Scarlett. Come say hi to the people. Come here, little monkey. Oh. This is my little monkey. This is Scarlet. Yes. Do you say hi? Do you say hi? Scarlet is my total little sweetheart. She climbs into my hair. She plays with my hair. She likes to climb me. She likes to climb on my back if I'm laying down. I, I will come into this room and just lay down with them on the dog beds. Uh, and, and hang out whenever I'm feeling blue. Anywho. I'm going to end that here and now, now that I'm sweating my arse off because it is about 30 degrees in this room and 60% to 70% humidity. Woo! But thank you guys for all joining in and I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.